What is going on guys? Perfectly timed video. Welcome back. Commentary for you. Want to thank my sponsor, Steel Supplements. Link and discount code down in the description. You also know I'm a Weeble Preferred Influencer. Over 50 people this month already signed up, opened an account, got fractional shares, got free shares. Some of you actually sold the stocks and closed your account, and you're welcome to do that. If you want free money, all you got to do, click that link, open the account. You can sell the shares right back, put the money right back in your bank account. However, we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about perfectly timed video. I mean, I couldn't script it any better. I did a video yesterday, talked about a lot of the things Madden misses from a coaching perspective. Talked about a running back coach in Cleveland and the impact he's had on the team, how valuable he is to the organization and how he's impacted so many players in his NFL career going from player to coach. And so many of you responded to the video and said, this is what we want in a football game. This is what we want in simulation sports titles. Now, hours after that video, Christian McCaffrey gets traded to the 49ers. Now, you could look at this a couple different ways. Okay, Madden used to be really big on player stories, and I don't want to sit here and label Christian McCaffrey a bust because I personally don't believe that he is. Injuries have certainly derailed a very promising career, but he is the son of of an NFL player, so he came into the league with that lineage, higher expectations. He also got off to a very strong start on a very competitive team. So, to me, this is a fresh start for him more than anything else on a team that needs him, however, to be the offensive threat that he once was. So, from a Madden perspective, player didn't meet expectations, player gets traded, Fan base, probably one half upset, the other half excited. And why is that? Well, look at the compensation. Sending second, third, and fourth picks in the 2023 and fifth round pick in the 2024 draft. So you've got a bounty. You've got definitely the capacity to get back someone if not multiple players, that can impact your team. So what's incredible to me is I can go from making a video that talks about what this game is lacking one day, and literally hours later, I can make another video on something that happens in the context of the league that focuses on something else that this game is missing. Now, this isn't because I'm some mad Notre Dame. This is because the game is just that bad. The game is lacking so much, right? We don't have the capacity right now in Madden to make this trade. I want you to think about that. There are things going on in the league, right, that are not granular, right? I know some people will say, hey, listen, you can't have coaches in the game the way they're replicated in real life. It's too much to program. You can't have players, parents, former players in the game. It's too much to program. Guys, we're talking about can we get trading to where you can actually have realistic options at what you can actually send from one team to the next? Now, the reason this is so important isn't because it happened in the NFL. It's important because EA has known. EA has known that we've needed this. It's not a want, right? You have to understand, there's so many things we come out with every single year that we want EA to do that we want to see in the game to make it a better product. That's what all of us want. A lot of people sit here and say, oh, you just have a negative Madden channel. You just hate Madden. No, I want this game to be better. And the only way you can improve it is to add things to it. And this is something that isn't even a want. It should be there by design. When they can sit there and watch the news feeds come across their TVs in their offices and see trades happen in the NFL, it should be without question that it is in EA Sports' video games, especially when they're the only game that can have the NFL license for simulation football. And make no mistake, that is what we're trying to simulate here. A trade. Now, Axis Football 
has listened to the community. They've went out and made multiple years, multiple draft picks, multiple spots in their trades. Why is it so important with EA? Well, I'm glad you asked, because we actually had a Twitter account that was supposedly leaking things earlier this year, and one of the things they leaked was that there was going to be six trading slots in the actual game release for Madden 23. This shows beyond the shadow of a doubt. They knew 100% what we needed in the game, what we wanted from the game, what our expectation was in their product, and they still failed to deliver it. And yet here we are months later, and the need for this trade is actually happening in real life, and not one of us. Not a single person can go and load up their franchise mode in Madden 23 and replicate this trade. And why can't we do it? Because the trading capacity is not there. If there is anyone in the NFL even remotely listening to this, there is no way this is acceptable from this product. I understand that we are in a day and age where licenses are important, where protecting the shield, I'm looking at you, Dan Snyder, is important. But the reality is EA Sports has been a terrible partner to the community when it comes to this game. They might be a great partner with EA in NFL. They might have a great agreement with them. But with the community, it has been awful. You know, I understand that EA does a lot of things good, right? They put in all the brands, the pizza brands, SpongeBob, all the things they need to attract the average gamer. The person that just wants to pick it up and play for 25 minutes and call it a day. And I'm not saying that EA can't make a great game when it comes to casual gamers. I'll admit to you, they probably can. I will actually go on record and say as far as a casual NFL football game, I think EA can probably make the best one. But they're paying for the simulation football agreement. And they're failing to meet the NFL's own standard. And therefore, providing the community completely knowingly a subpar product. And somewhere along the lines, someone has to stand up and say, hey, this isn't right. This game is not simulation football. It's not what it portrays to be on the box. And it's not fulfilling the desires of the consumer purchasing it, whether they're giving it for free or not. And if EA wants to sit there and make every casual game they can, I don't care. You know what? Make Madden Ultimate Team its own game. Charge $30. Make Superstar KO its own mode. Charge $30. Make every game mode on its own. And see how many people buy every single mode. Most people only want one mode. For most of us in this community, we want franchise. And we have been completely let down year after year by game developers that either don't have the talent, the tools, or the ability to simply program things into the game proper. And not only that, every season we're met with multiple examples in the NFL that showcase us what we should have in a game but are nowhere close to having. And this is two days back to back that show you if you were an NFL fan and you want simulation football, you have to buy EA's product by license, but you'll never get the experience from the game. Love to know your thoughts on this. Appreciate you watching this video. And who knows what can happen tomorrow in the NFL that won't be replicated by Madden properly. But I know when a game is this bad that at any moment something can happen that its game can't do, I will always be back in the week with more commentary.